Hello everyone, welcome to Informatica support video. This is Shruti from Informatica GCS and in this video we are going to discuss about how to map uh, Exxon DQ rule to the scorecards and profile present on IDQ server. So before proceeding further, let's see the agenda for today's video. So first we will discuss about whatever we have discussed in the first part of this video. Thereafter we will see what changes we have to be made we have to turn on Exxon site in order to configure the Exxon agent and thereafter we will see how to map the DQ rules to scorecards and profile present on IDQ. Let's begin with our first topic and let's recap whatever we have discussed in the first part of this video. So first of all we discussed what is the need of Exxon agent. So as we discussed that Exxon agent acts as a mediator between Exxon and IDQ. It takes the request from Exxon and then send it to IDQ and in return it takes the response back from the IDQ and again send it to the Exxon. So it communicates to both Exxon as well as to IDQ. Thereafter we saw how to install the Exxon agent. Now proceeding further let's see what changes we have to make on Exxon side to configure the Exxon agent. So let me open my Exxon UI first. So this is my Exxon UI and let us go to the admin panel. Now we just have to go to customize and configure then configure Exxon. From this list we have to select the data quality. We have to click on edit and here we have to provide the host name of the server where you have installed the Exxon agent as well as the port number that you have used and that you have provided at the time of Exxon agent installation as the Exxon agent port. So let me fill these details. So these are the required details. So let's save it. Thereafter, we need to clear the cache and restart the memcache and HTTP service. So let's go to the Exxon server. So let's remove the cache directory here. Thereafter, we just have to restart memcache and HTTP services. So this is all that we have to change from the Exxon site in order to configure the Exxon agent. Now let's map one of the Exxon DQ rules to the scorecards or profile present in IDQ. So as we all know that in Exxon we can create DQ rules on a particular data set. So let's open a particular data set here. So in one particular data set, we have certain number of attributes and we can create a DQ rule on top of any one of the attribute. So from here, if we want, we can just click on here, new data quality rule and we can create a new DQ rule. Here. So let's provide the basic details here. The name, this is the description, and the other fields are as following like uh, type of the rule, measured in which system, and all those things. Here we can define the attribute on which you want to run this particular DQ rule. So I have selected the default option that is the first attribute here. Then we can just save and close. So now this is our DQ rule present in Exxon. Now how to map it to the scorecards or profile present on IDQ site. So just click on edit. Now here go to the technical rule reference. Then let's say I want to map it to the some profile. So I have select the desired project there under the profile and the column that I want to map here so this i have mapped now apart from this setting so now we have mapped a particular scorecard 
or a particular profile with this root so in our case i have mapped a profile here now how exxon will fetch the report or the results from idq so for that we have to schedule this route that is we have to schedule the execution of this route on idq side for that we have certain options here so whether you want to execute this rule daily weekly monthly or whatever options are present there you can choose it from here so let's say i have selected daily thereafter the, the most important property here is execute rule so if you will keep it as unchecked and suppose i have provided a time here as 2 then daily at 2 am this uh since we haven't checked this option execute root that's why daily at 2 am it will just contact to the idq server and for this particular profile whatever we have attached it will fetch the result directly from there so suppose there is one profile there present on idq and it has already been executed there so at 2 am it will just fetch the report of that execution from idq side now suppose if i have checked this option then daily at 2 am what x1 agent will do it will trigger the execution of this particular profile on the idq side so at 2 am that profile will get executed on idq and then whatever is the result exxon will uh, exxon agent will fetch those result and will give it to exxon and you can see those result or reports in your exxon ui for this particular rule and thereafter once it extracts the report from the idq thereafter it purges those result on idq and all those results whatever is the report and that you can see in your exxon ui but it will purge it from there but all those things will happen only if you have select this option if you haven't selected it then whatever report was already present on idq it will just fetch those report only so now after this we can just save and close it now whatever time we have set there that is the 2 am so daily at 2 am this rule will get executed on idq side and whatever reports will be present there that will get fetched here so here as we can uh, after 2 am we can just come to this tab report and it will show us the report so currently since it hasn't been executed even for single time so we are not seeing any result here but after 2 am if we will see this tab then we can see the dq result here so this is all for this current video if you have any suggestions or any feedback or queries please contact us using these two links thank you for watching the video